This film was made as part of the Common Cause Research Project, which aims to understand how universities and black and minority ethnic communities build collaborations. Each of these films tells a different story of how these collaborations might work. They range from long-term partnerships to short-term projects and events. The films are designed to prompt discussion and reflection. We encourage you to ask, what questions might be learned for the future from these stories? The Southall Story Project explored the rich and diverse cultural history of the town through interviewing and collecting stories from over 200 members of the community. My name is Kuljit Bamra and I am a record producer, musician and performer. And I've lived in Southall since 1968 and this is my house and my recording studio. I wanted Southall to be documented as a sort of success story because if you had heard of it you probably would have heard of it in relationship to the riots that took place in 1979 when Blair Peach got killed. There were two main missions for me. One was to for people to know that it was a good example of a multicultural society and the other one is that I believe that it was the birthplace of some amazing music. Um, a lot of Bangla music came out of Southall. I felt I was the only person that had access to those people um, and I felt that if I didn't do it, no one else would be able to do it in an authentic manner. I wasn't sure when I first got involved with Exeter University whether there was some sort of collaboration or whether I was going to be told to do something or that whether I was going to tell them to do something. Um, so it sort of, it was just a journey of exploration and I was sort of ready to go with it. Um, what was a joy? interviewing the people from the community and validating them. They really felt like, oh my God, someone's called me in, someone's listened to what I've got to say, they've listened to my story and I'm all made up. And I was thrilled that they felt like that. I definitely found out lots of things for myself about my particular interest, which is sort of, for example, dates of what happened. So in my own mind, I had certain dates of events and, um, they were mostly wrong. So it was good to get those corrected by people that came in and said, no, actually, I was in that band first, and then that happened, and then that pub got burnt down, and it was him that did it, not me. What was a surprise? <laughs> well, I think, actually, the project itself was a surprise <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't realise that it could become a reality. I didn't know before that I could approach a university and partner with them. I was awarded an honorary doctorate degree by Exeter University um, and somehow in conversation with Jerry Debu, who was senior lecturer of drama at the time, I must have articulated an idea to say I've got this idea, in fact I've got loads of ideas, but this is one of the ideas and I don't really know how to get it off the ground and, and then I don't remember the conversation but then suddenly it began to look like it could be real. It went from sort of they've got the money and I've got the ideas to a more collaborative process where it became more a grey area, I would say. I think I was very lucky to have met Jerry. Had it been a sort of stuffy professor, it might have been a very horrible journey. She um, was interested in Indian culture and, and also how it sort of um, the sociological sides of things. In actually filling out the forms, you have to be really explicit about what you're going to do. And, and Jerry and the university were brilliant at doing that. So I think she found that she had to pull things out of me and then articulate them in a certain way so that they ticked the sort of right boxes in the form. And Jerry helped me um, sort of fine tune exactly what the outcomes could be. So is there going to be an exhibition? Would there be a film? Would there be recordings? We don't, I don't think we knew right earlier on what those outputs were going to be. 
one of the things had to be that um, there would be a book written. What was missed? Probably a public impact of the whole project. I feel that's left for me to do because I'm a sort of public guy. I think um, the university might just write a book and then it will be on to the next project. This division of practitioner and academic was a bit weird initially for me because I thought, I thought well, maybe, I mean, you know, I'll study civil engineering, so I'm, I'm, I'm an academic, you know, I mean, I, I went to university and everything, so, but then suddenly I was a practitioner and they were the academics. I might still have a sort of um, that going on inside my head, uh, but because it, it seemed a bit too sort of clean cut, but maybe that's what had to happen for the sort of form. I suppose I'm a practitioner, I'm out in the field doing stuff and then they sort of talk about what I've done. <laughs>